What was your experience with Ambassador Yovanovitch? Uh, was she working hard to combat corruption in Ukraine, sir? She was dedicated, as is every U.S. government official in Ukraine, to help Ukrainians overcome the legacy of corruption, which they actually have made a number of important steps since 2014. So, in fact, before all of this happened, uh, you and your superiors at the State Department asked the ambassador to extend her time in the Ukraine, correct, sir? That is correct. Uh, did you support her extension? I asked her to extend until the end of this year to get through the election cycle in Ukraine, and then Under Secretary Hale in March asked her to stay until 2020. Now, some in Ukraine probably disliked her efforts to help Ukraine root out corruption. Is that correct? As I mentioned in my testimony, you can't promote uh, principled anti-corruption action without pissing off corrupt people. Fair enough. Now, uh, some of those people helped Giuliani smear her, uh, did they not? They did. So ultimately, that smear campaign pushed President Trump to remove her, correct, sir? I cannot judge that. What I can say is that Rudy Giuliani's smear campaign was ubiquitous in the spring of 2019 on Fox News and on the Internet and Twitter sphere. So Ambassador Taylor and Mr. Kent, in all of your combined decades at the State Department, have you ever before seen an instance where an ambassador was forced out by the president following a smear campaign of misinformation orchestrated by the president's allies? I have not. Nor I. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.